gonna take you through into a wine cave that is being built. Carry through the dirt. This crazy idea about a winery. A 16,000 square foot wine cave. It started in Hong Kong. And one day I said, you know, if I ever decided to do something outside Four Seasons, I'm going to get into the wine business. What? Although, do we have a nicer hat? Want a, a nicer hat? And that one just looks a little scrappy. I guess it's okay. fine. You want, is, you want to be the one with the white running shoe. This is a big goofball. Big complexity. Yeah. So we're in Oakville, California, okay. which is the first of the designated American viticulture areas. For the last, um, well, until now, until it's being turned into a winery, the last 30, 35 years, it has been a cutting ranch horse farm, if you will. Oh, so it's going to be sort of a boutique winery here. Um, tell me a little about this construction. It looks like you're going for the modern architecture here. Actually, um, the reason that I think you're drawing that conclusion is you're, you're sort of looking at <laughs> the, the, bare bones. Uh, the, the unfinished bare bolts, right? Yes. Um, our plan and our design is very much agrarian, Okay. All right, to let the buildings kind of go away into the landscape. B is for bricks, B-R-I-X. Bricks okay. is the measurement of sugar at harvest time that determines it's an indice of ripeness and the quality of the grape. The optimal ripeness has a range, so it's a, it's a, um, a degree, it's a oh, metric. I see. It's a number. Yes. We're having an insurgence of caves being built. People want to have caves, and it's good. It's, it's smart, it's sustainable. Uh, you're not building structures outside, you're putting everything inside, and that's really good. And then there's also people that just want to have a cave in the middle of a vineyard or a middle middle of a field, yeah. and what they do is they'll dig they'll dig a hole. Yeah. Just and then, have that cave. So you can, right, yeah. and they'll dig a hole, and they'll ramp it down, and then they'll put the supports over it, and then cover it, and then cover it with dirt. Yeah. And they call that a cut and cover. I see. But, you know, you everybody... kind of create the hillside and then put that. Exactly. It's a man-made cave. Well, actually, they're all man-made, but this was a man-made hill. Yes. <laughs> the amount of dirt that we've taken out, if you can imagine a, a football field. Yeah. Okay, if you stack it up about six, eight feet, a whole football field. Yes. That's all the, that's amount, of all the amount of dirt that comes Where out of here. Where does all that dirt go? Well, no, they've, they've actually put some on the property. Yes. And they've moved it to places like the river, down the river. They had a project there that they put it at. Thank you so much. Awesome. Very nice to meet you. Awesome.